weather. And it is a quiet evening across central and north Alabama. Here is a look across the region. We've got temperatures generally in the 70s, our warm spot right now, Tuscaloosa. Still sitting at 81 degrees, a very quiet evening. We've got some clouds around and we are dry through the rest of the evening. We will stay dry, keep some clouds and a little bit of an east breeze from time to time. Here's where I'm forecasting morning lows to be by the time you're headed out the door. We're ranging anywhere from the mid 60s in our easternmost communities to the lower 70s. The farther west you live, we do have an east breeze in place and that's pulling in some cooler air and that's going to be responsible for really kind of helping to drop our temperatures in the coming days. But tomorrow we end up very similar to how we felt today. A few degrees cooler. We're going to be in the mid 80s, which is just below low average for this time of year, but I am forecasting a partly to mostly cloudy sky. 9 a.m. temperatures in the low 70s, warming into the low 80s at lunchtime, and it's right around 3 o'clock that we see those highs top out in the mid 80s. And then after that, we'll be falling back into the low 80s around dinner time. I do have to mention a very low chance of an isolated shower or storm. That would most likely be in some of our western or southwestern most communities, but even then the overall rain chance tomorrow very low. Big time changes on the way for Thursday and Friday. That's thanks to an increase in cloud cover. We keep that east breeze and we're also going to bring some rain into the forecast at times on and off both of those days. Saturday highs return to the low 80s, but I wanted to give you a closer look at our Thursday and Friday highs because there could be some locations that struggle to make it out of the 70s. Average high for this time of the year is the upper 80s, so this is going to feel pretty good. This is well below average for this time of year. It does come with the chance of rain, though. That chance of rain very minimal tomorrow, but look what happens on Thursday and Friday. Not a complete washout both days, but we are expecting some passing showers from time to time both of those days. Then a front moves through, knocking down our rain coverage just in time for the weekend. Let's look more closely at Thursday and Friday. This is lunchtime Thursday. Some passing light to moderate rain showers. Models indicating the better coverage of rain is likely to be across the southern half of the state. That's where some of those higher rainfall totals will be. 6 a.m. on Friday, we will have some passing showers around. Same stories we head towards the afternoon hours on Friday and into the evening, but that front will start to get closer to our area and eventually that's going to knock down our rain chances by the weekend. But I do want to point out Friday night lights forecast does feature the possibility of some light rain showers. Temperatures are going to be falling through the 70s during the game and by 9 o'clock we're mainly dry with a temperature in the mid 70s. Wanted to uh, also give you a closer look at our weekend forecast because we talked about that front. I want to show you what that does to our temperatures. Most notable change over the weekend is going to come during the morning hours. Front moves in on Saturday. Highs are going to be in the low 80s. Mostly sunny Sunday, but look at that Sunday morning low. We're back in the 50s. We are feeling like fall.